face is looking dewy, okay? Wet, hydrated, I can see the luminosity. Oddly enough, I've never tried this. It's been out for a while, so let's try it today. This is the Morphe 2 Hint Hint Skin Tint, and this is the shade Hint of Espresso. It's deepest with neutral undertones. First of all, is Morphe 2 the rebrand of Morphe? Didn't Morphe get bankrupt? I don't know. I, I just, that's just what I remember. It's lightweight with a breathable formula. It hydrates, smooths, and blurs. Vegan, non-comedogenic. It's a hydrating fluid tint that melts into the skin. It's buildable, sheer to medium coverage, okay? Hydrated, great for the winter time or if you just have year-round dry skin, this will be a good option for you. It says to shake gently and start with one or two drops to build it up. My, my, my. And this is $18. So let's see what it's talking about. I only have this shade that was sent to me. I hope that this matches me. I think that it will because you know how I do, right? I was also sent this All A Blur Pore Perfecting Stick. And we gonna see how this looks on the skin. Already finished my skincare, put on my SPF, but let's put this on. This hurts, these pimples. I hate when pimples hurt. Oh, okay. It's giving a silicone feel. Interesting. If you feel like when you put on your makeup, you can still see your pores through it, I imagine that this would be good, but let's see if it makes a difference because I obviously can't say it's my first time using it. You know, these days I don't use many primers. I just go right in. Some will even venture to say that your skincare is your primer. It's the first step underneath your actual makeup. And I mean, it does prep your skin. The function of a primer is to prep the skin. So your skincare really is a primer, you feel me? It's gonna hydrate your skin, but it's not gonna mattify, you feel me? Unless you are doing a mattifying skincare routine. Not to confuse you, but what I'm saying is, for me, I normally use my skincare as a primer, all right? We got a dropper formula. This reminds me of the NYX foundation from back in the day, or like back in a day, like a few months ago. I enjoyed that one. I forget the name of it. It's so good. Highly pigmented. It's loose just like this. I can tell that this color is my color. Wow. And it's spreading nicely. Yes, I see how it's sheer to medium. Yes, I can see that. Using this Morphe Kabuki brush to blend it. It's not concealing my brows in its entirety. So yes, definitely giving that sheer to medium coverage. I'm still using this stippling brush to pounce it on because this is my preferred method to apply any foundation or skin tint. However, if you want to sheer it more than what it already is, then feel free to go ahead and use your beauty sponge to do just that. My face is looking dewy, okay? Wet, hydrated, I can see the luminosity of it all, okay? If you have dry skin and or just love a luminous finish and love a sheer to medium coverage, then this is a great option for you. Wow. Look at the glow on the skin. This is not what I like. <laughs> As my standard, this is not what I like. <laughs> but of course I'm committed to trying different products because you may not like what I like, you feel me? So I do need to be able to cater. Cater to you, cater to a diff you know different types of preferences, not too much. I don't come in and do Halloween tutorials and stuff like that, but you feel me like something like this, I could do it for you. This matches my skin perfectly. And it's not in a way where it's dark. It's not in a way where it matches me so much so where I feel like it's light. It matches my skin so well. The deepness of it is so good. All right, so far I am enjoying this. Let's toss it back with this KVD concealer and the shade is TM177. Let's toss it back with this. Now I am gonna be using a new tool today. It's this beauty blender, don't wet it, use it dry situation. That's not the name, that's just how, what, how I'm calling it. I am concerned because I've never used such a thing. It is a new product, obviously, and this side is for the concealer and this side is for the powder. If you've tried this, you have to let me know. So apparently, it's a miracle two-in-one puff. It says perfectly pick up and apply to any for any powder. This side has a silicone squishy center and reversible band for ultimate control. And then this side blends liquids, concealers, creams, two-point precision shape reaches all areas of the face. Oh my God. Let's try this out. Ooh. I feel like it's picking up a lot of product. It feels like, however, just like using a sponge that's dry. I like that it has this handle so that I'm not having to hold it that way. I can literally do this. I like that it has the rounded point so that I can get right here in the inner eye. It looked like it was picking up a lot of product, but it's still leaving some on the face. It's a little messy, like my nose. I never bring it to my nose like that, so I will fix it with the contour. I'm not used to the handle of it all. But is it working? Yes. I like my beauty Sponge. I like the beauty sponge because I can pinch. Is this working? Yes. Do I plan on using it? No. I can see myself using it to apply powder. I don't like it for the concealer. I like the idea, but I just miss squeezing my makeup sponge because I'm just so used to that, you know? Let's get some more concealer in the T-zone areas. 
feel like this is okay to go down here, but even like it's working. It's just, I'm not used to it. When you've been doing something the same way for so long, it's just like, what? <laughs> What do you want me to do now, you know? How do you want me to change this? Like, see, I gotta turn my hand. Whereas with the sponge, I just squeeze it and I get this whole area. I don't know if you've tried this, yo. But see, my issue now is there isn't, or am I supposed to flip it? Am I supposed to flip this? Because what I wanna say is when I use the powder side, I'm then touching a dirty side. So am I supposed to flip it over? Ah, is that what I'm supposed to do? I don't know. But my problem is when I do that, now I'm touching a dirty side to then come and apply powder. Like, look at my finger. I don't like that. No, no, no. Now my fingers have felt like concealer all over it. Is it the end of the world? No, but do I like it? No, I, no, what? Mm -mm. <laughs> I don't like that. Practically, it's just not really very realistic. LYS Cream Bronzer in the shade is worthy, baby. Nice and deep. Let's get this edge going. This is a Sephora 56 brush. Get up in here and blend this out. You know, even though we have a foundation on, I still want to do my full face. Get the whole thing together with the highlight and the contour. That is an absolute must. If your brows are microbladed and you just like a real natural look, you can skip a lot of these steps and get out the door for an everyday slash work look. You feel me? But for me, when I was going to enter the office, oh, I was doing a full face every single day. Every day. <laughs> okay, I was that girl and they had questions. Wow, when do you get up in the morning to do all of this? It's early. Wow, how do you do all of that? Practice. <laughs> Y'all leave me alone, God. <laughs> I'm getting into this hairline, okay. Leftover product and let's go down the side of the nose and isolate this out with a little subtle contour. I'll take some more if I feel the need. But I feel like I'm seeing this. I feel like I'm seeing this. I need some more, so I'm gonna take it literally from my, <laughs> from the side of my face. Cause it, that hasn't been set yet. So if I were to touch it, it'd be on my fingers. You feel me? Oh, I feel like I need some more. It's not dark enough, okay? More product back of the hand. And then I'm gonna take some of this, diffuse it onto a clean side of my hand. And then now onto the sides of my nose. It just needs to be darker. See, and then here's my other issue is I need to blend out the concealer. Let me, turn this back over and I need to blend out these, this line of demarcation all around the face. So this is where I would take the butt of the beauty sponge, but of course I'm using this, flipping it over because where I have the contour, I don't want to mix into the concealer. Turning it back like this to do the same on this side because where I have the contour, I don't want to put on top of the concealer, okay? So yeah, that did work beautifully. Do you plan on trying this out? I wanna know, comment and let me know. Are you adventurous like that? Like, do you like to try new things? Cause I don't usually. <laughs> It depends, okay? All right, right up in here, make sure that there is no creasing. Taking this LYS concealer brush and then the LYS Triple Fix Translucent Powder in the shade Resilience. I wanna get right up in here before I do my luminous setting powder. And this sets so well. You can literally see the dryness, right? And then I'm gonna do my luminous setting powder, which I love. This is a Sigma Soft Blend 60 brush and then the Huda Beauty Luminous Setting Powder. See how it has that highlight? I love that underneath my eyes. I'm setting the other areas of my face back with this LIF powder, all the other areas that I highlighted. LYS bronzer, this is the same shade, worthy, but in the powder form. This is gonna take away the shine and add a little bit more color. This is a step that I just live by because it makes a subtle but impactful difference. And on the chin, I'm not trying to make this so defined, but I'm doing it just so that, you know, it all comes together. It really does make a little bit of a difference. The chin doesn't need to be so chiseled. That's not my focus. But without it, it just, I just feel like it, you know, the foundation just goes straight and just, it can look like it just stopped as opposed to, oh, there's a shadow there. You feel me? For face powder, I'm doing the Kosas Cloud Set in the shade Velvety.
See, this is the other annoying part is that I used the butt of my sponge to do my cheeks and the first blush was more of a highlight. So I needed to add more color and I'm having to use this flat thing to add color to an area where I like to use a round thing. This is a round area because of the cheek and then, so it, you gotta be careful because you don't want this to be like a line. I'm not gonna use this again. <laughs> This has become a freaking finger puff rant, but I'm not into this like at all. I'm making it work, but never again. Thought that that Sephora blush was gonna be fine on its own, but I forgot that when I used to use it, I used it with the Beauty Bakery blush, which was pure orange, so delicious. And then I would put that on the apples and it looked so good. But without all of that, I'm just not getting the payoff that I need. So I had to use this orange one from Denise Amaris and I love this, love, 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 love. Then to bring back the gradient, I gotta go back with what's left over on this Sephora 59 brush because I need it to gradually come into the blush. You feel me? I'm working backwards. I just made a mistake with the blush, but that's how I make stuff work. You feel me? So back with the worthy bronzer, just to deepen this area right here. I brought it in so far, so let's make it look equal. <laughs> Yo, we winging it today. Okay. <laughs> let's leave these cheeks alone. My God. <laughs> For eyes, what am I doing? I feel like I haven't done a plum in a long time, you know? Do I have that? Let's see. Oh, I do. Looky, looky here. I'm gonna go between these two eyeshadows. In the crease, we're gonna go with this color here and a little bit of that maybe. On the eyelid, I'm gonna make it a plum smoky. Let's go right here. I do have this mascara from the Morphe 2 collection that was sent to me, Wink and Wow Nourishing Mascara. Hmm. Let's see, because of course I'm gonna wear my falsies, but I know when a mascara is good and when it's not, okay? Let's try. I wonder if this is a travel version or if this is the full size version of the mascara. I don't know. It's giving okay for me. It's not terrible, it's giving okay. consider this good. Let me revise that. I consider it good. Okay is more like fair. I would consider this good. Links to all products are below, by the way, in the description box. I mean, you comment and let me know. You might be like, that looks amazing. I think it looks good. I mean, of course I have some faves like the Fenty and the Huda and the Lawless. This is good. Smoky Plum Eye is on and popping. Girl, these lashes are a little wild, but that's how we like them. Mm -hmm. And when it comes to the lip, I don't want it to be dark. I want it to still be like soft. I almost picked out a dark plum liner, but that's not what I want. I'm gonna use the LYS Speak Love Smooth Glide Lip Liner in the shade, De I gotta sharpen this. This is the shade Devoted. I like this, but see, I hate having to look for a sharpener. <gasps> what? almost forgot my highlight. Oh no, flaunt. We gotta get the middle of the nose. Oh my gosh. I'm like, where is my highlight right here? Something was missing. Mm -mm. We need that. It makes a difference. And then right here. And then the nose. I need to see that, you know? Okay, now here we go.
On the inside, let's do this is the Makeup Forever Rouge Artist Forever Matte in the shade 192. Nice, beautiful, peachy nude. I haven't worn this one in so long I forgot what it looked like. Mm, this is cute. Look at that. Listen, I've been living in nudes lately. Especially when I'm doing batch filming, I need to do a nude. I can't be having a pink lip in 17 different videos. <laughs> I do plan on putting a gloss on later in the day, but for right now, I'm gonna leave it like this. I love it. So you comment and let me know what you think about this look. The foundation looks beautiful. I am expecting this to get sweaty, not sweaty, but luminous, more luminous than it already is later in the day. I am expecting that. That's what this skin tint's gonna do for you. It already told us that it's hydrating. You can obviously see that once you put the whole face together, it's giving a full coverage look. Because I normally wear full coverage foundations, I can tell that it's, it's something that I build up as opposed to it being a straight up full coverage complexion product. I like how this looks. You comment and let me know if you like how this look turned out. Do you plan on wearing the skin tint? Have you ever tried it? I wanna know in the comments and I'll see you in the next video. Bye-bye.